Thanks. Thanks, Mandra. So um, uh, to say thought it was a, a great day, um, really, really interesting, and a great summing up uh, sort of session there with some feedback um, from folks. So, so I, I'm Adam Farquhar. I'm head of digital scholarship here at the British Library. Um, and one of the real pleasures of that role is to um, be responsible for the sort of the BL Labs um, uh, initiative and, and project. Um, uh, I'd like to thank the speakers today, so they're really, really good. Um, and uh, Tim Hitchcock, uh, who is a professor of digital history at Sussex, um, gave a, um, a keynote at a, a, a conference we did at the early uh, start of November. And he said that this project, this activity is, as far as he knows, completely unique. Um, and it's unique in the way that it brings people together um, in a quite focused and interesting way across a tremendous range of backgrounds and disciplines. So we heard from artists, from computer scientists, from folks in the, the, the sort of the bio and life sciences, um, uh, um, from, just a, a, from, from people in the humanities, just a, a huge range working on things with really clear um, a potential for a synergy. Um, and I think the labs project has really been a lot about providing opportunities for just that um, kind of synergy. Um, so really pleased to see just the quality of the work. And a lot of that is partially enabled by uh, the work that the BL Labs uh, team has, has done. So I'd like to thank them, especially um, Mahendra and Ben, and, and, and ben uh, for the fantastic work that they've done in putting to together today's event, but also for um, running the LAPS program. Um, it's uh, been running for two years now. And um, uh, I'd also like to thank the, um, the volunteers and other contributors to the project. They've added so, so much. When we started this out, we didn't have any idea of what sort of contributions people would um, be making and the overall impact of the program. So um, you guys have made a huge difference. So um, thanks so much for that. Um, so there are three important things about today. Um, I thought I'd, I'd mention. So the first is that it's the anniversary of our release of the, the Flickr, um, the million images on Flickr. Um, secondly, um, uh, it's the end of the first phase of the, the labs program. So it ran for two years. It closes and uh, has accomplished some really wonderful things. But um, uh, better than that, uh, its third thing is it's the start of phase two of uh, BL Labs. Um, that will start in January and run for another um, uh, two years. Um, it's going to retain a lot of the great features of um, the first phase of the program, but it's going to have a broader range of events, uh, hack and data days, workshops, and symposia like this. Um, we're also going to get out of London a bit more. Um, we're going to have a little bit more uh, staffing. We're going to be able to take it um, um, out into the rest of the country um, more effectively, which will be fantastic. Um, there's going to be lots more digital content and data for you guys to use and uh, reuse and uh, analyze and work with. So text and images and audio and moving images can be fantastic. Um, uh, we're also going to, we're going to continue to run a competition like we've been doing the last two years, um, which has this uh, really exciting residency uh, component to it where people submit their fantastic ideas, and we work with them uh, giving quite close in, high quality technical support, access to data sometimes on site here at the British Library. Um, so uh, we're going to continue with that. But uh, we're also going to add uh, to a couple of new things. So one is that um, as part of providing access uh, to digital content for use, we're going to develop a service. We're going to call it data.bl.uk. Um, and it should make it much easier for people to get access to and work with that um, digital content um, uh, in the way that they want to. Um, secondly, we're going to add a new competition. Okay, so it's going to be like the Oscars um, for exciting work with digital content that frankly showcases um, the content that the British Library holds. Um, uh, and we're able to do that because of the amazing things that people have now done. So if you've done this cool stuff over the last couple of years, that will be the opportunity to really showcase it um, at a national level. Um, I think we'll get some great uh, visibility of the work um, uh, that we, uh, uh, both the short list and the finals there um, uh, should be really interesting. Uh, I'd like to encourage everybody here who wants to be involved in those competitions um, they're both fairly friendly, um, but uh, 
um, should uh, do so. We're going to be <coughs> announcing and formally launching the two competitions uh, in January. Uh, come back to the website um, to find out more about it. Um, I'm looking forward to those uh, next year. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say, but um, I wanted to make four requests uh, before we break and have a, a glass of mobile wine. The first is you will find evaluation cards being passed out by Mahendra. We've got a bunch of pens if you don't have any pens. Um, please fill them out. These are really, really, really important to us. Okay? Um, we read all of your comments. Um, it helps us to make them better. Um, if we've done something well, it helps us to tell folks at the British Library that we've done something well um, in your voice um, saying it directly. So it um, makes a big difference to us. Uh, second, I wanted to just highlight dates of two upcoming events. Um, at the International Digital Curation Conference, we're going to have a hack event. Um, uh, should be fun. Uh, we'll have probably some images, a lot of textual material um, there. And those, they should have been 2015s, excuse me. I'm just not quite there yet, um, but, but, but that's where, when they'll be. Um, and also, just after it, there'll be a, a that camp, uh, Humanities and uh, Technologies camp, also here in London. Uh, that will be Friday the 13th. Um, and in fact, if you come to the hack day, you can carry forward your work um, into the, the, that camp. Uh, that camp is a fairly self-organized activity, um, so a lot of opportunity uh, should be really exciting. We're looking forward to doing uh, both of those in February, and I uh, encourage you all to come. Um, are we doing a tour? Yes. Yes. So um, should people find you at a given time? How, how are you doing that? Um, a tour? Of, of Gothic. Oh, yes, sorry, yes. Um, if, um, some of you may... Um, I wanted to go to the off the map, um, the, uh, the Gothic tour. Um, if you are interested in going to that, um, what what time does it close today? Last showing, does anybody know? Five o'clock. Okay. He's so. <laughs> open longer, but the last entry. Last entry is five o'clock. Okay. So I have some visitor passes if you want to go there. Um, if you're interested. Follow me straight outside now, and then I will take you in small groups. Great. Um, thanks. Um, so, uh, a last request. Um, so, just join me uh, thanking uh, the speakers and the organizers for a, a really, really uh, fascinating day today. So. <laughs> so, 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 thanks so much, all of you, for being here. Come join us for.